Okay, Sunny Daytona, Al Gladys. I'm going to present a 1967 Chevelle, a real 138 code super sport car, not a clone, not a tribute car, but a real super sport car to start life. 396, not a numbers correct motor, but a real correct super sport Chevelle. Four pass aluminum radiator, vintage air conditioning, all new belts with it, power steering, power disc brakes in the front, correct valve pan covers for our 1967, and a correct air cleaner for it also. Absolutely gorgeous underneath the hood. The inner fender panels are nice gloss paint. The uh, firewall is just absolutely the way it was when it left the factory. The uh, uh, tag is on the uh, firewall, still intact from uh, General Motors. Just an absolutely gorgeous car under the hood. It is correct as can be, look wise. Has an aluminum metal block intake manifold with it. Um, Carter AFB carburetor, but the car is just a real 138 code Super Sport 1967, the most desirable year that there is. A lot of guys like 70s. 67 is probably the most desirable of any of the Chevelle years. Gorgeous car. 67 Super Sport Chevelle. Um, beautiful, beautiful paint on the car. Deep, deep midnight blue. Correct dome hood with really nice chromed uh, vent type uh, sides on them. The way they came in 1967 with the double humped hood on it. Uh, gaps on the uh, Hood to the fender are absolutely gorgeous. You can see the trim around the front. Everything matches just beautifully. Chevelle, no pits or anything on the uh, chrome Chevelle uh, designation. The gap on this side is just as nice as it is on the other side. Across the back by the cowl area the same way. Very nice fitment of the hood. Super Sport 396 designation on the front, which is correct for this car. It is a correct Super Sport 396 car. The grill area is beautiful. You can see there's no imperfections in the uh, aluminum, no dents, no marks, no scuffs. Chrome on the bumper is absolutely gorgeous. No marks, no chips. Very, very nice chrome on the front bumper. Filler panel, the tin is nice on it. The paint on it even is nice. A lot of detail in the uh, grill area of the front of this car. Most of them, the the paint between the um, uh, fins starts to uh, fade out or chip off, and this car is just nice and fresh looking. Has a real nice fresh pop to it from the front end. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Okay, going down the driver's side of our 67 Chevelle Super Sport. Uh, you can see on the nose here we have the uh, cross flags with the 396 uh, designation for the uh, Super Sport. The red striping you see is correct for 1967. That's the way the striping would have been on the 1967 Chevelle. Uh, paint on the front fender is just gorgeous. As it is on the hood, you can see everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. Uh, fender to the uh, door and the rocker panel, same way. There's no, there's no overhang. Everything fits as it's supposed to. Correct arms and blades, wiper arms and blades on the car. Tinted windshield. Windshield has no marks or chips or scuffs on it anywhere. I don't see any imperfections in the um, trim around the window. Uh, absolutely none. If they're there, I'm missing them somehow. There's absolutely nothing. 17 inch polished torque thrust style wheels in the front. Disc brakes in the front, as we uh, stated previously, which would be part of the Super Sport package. Uh, this particular car does have a black vinyl top on it. Uh, top's really, really in nice condition. There's no raised portions of it or places where the uh, glue didn't adhere to the vinyl. Uh, drip edge is really, really nice. There's no marks on it at all. There's none. Rubbers are fresh on the car. Um, back windows, which are usually an issue on these cars, these are nice and fresh and soft. No chips or marks on the mirror. Window wipes, fuzzies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, very, very nice condition. Uh, the stainless steel is nice. The rubber that 
overlaps a little bit under the paint, is nice and soft and pliable yet, and not folded in any way. Door handles, same way, the chrome is absolutely gorgeous on them. This particular car does have the correct Super Sport steering wheel in it, has a Hurst shifter, a console, and it is a four-speed. It is a four-speed car. It does have air conditioning. The vents are uh, vintage air underneath the, uh, the dash. The, the car's just an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous car with a console, with buckets, in a four-speed, in a 396, a real 138 code Super Sport car. Headrests are correct for the year, and they're not redone ones. They're the actual black ones that are still uh, not covered with uh, vinyl with stitching. They're the actual molded headrest that came with the car. It does have seat belts in it also. You can see everything fits as it should. The door goes on to the quarter. This car is a really, really nice car. Rubber around the wipes on the back, same way you can, it's, it fits tight enough that you can't even get your fingernail underneath it. Very, very tight fitting. That's, that's a nice uh, fitment of it. Down the quarter panel, uh, Nitto tires on it also, which are pretty good sticky tires to have. They're a great tire. Rocker panels, nice, the molding's nice, real straight, no bends, no twists in it, no dings. Quarter panel, the uh, wheel lift molding, I forgot to mention in the front, there's no marks on it. You can see there's also not on the, uh, on the rear from door uh, edges, whacking into it. No marks on it. Striping continues off to the end of the quarter panel the way it's supposed to. And again, the SS Super Sport designation on the back for our 67 Chevelle. Really nice car down the driver's side. I don't see any imperfections. There's nothing that uh, could possibly deter someone from not wanting to be a proud owner of this guy. Okay, going around the uh, back end of our Chevelle, you can see the chrome on the bumper is absolutely gorgeous. As it was on the front, the fitment of the bumper, you can see my finger goes the whole way around it the way it's supposed to, the same uh, gap the whole way. Backup lights in the bumper, the lenses are real nice and clean. Uh, flat black across the back the way it's supposed to be on a Super Sport. Again, SS396 on the back. The chrome around your taillight assemblies, which usually is either distorted or, or broken or, or just not fitting right, is absolutely as it was when it was new. Uh, I don't see any deviation whatsoever. No, there's, there's the, the lenses are as clean and crisp as could possibly be. It's a really nice car. The uh, deck lid, the fitment is as the wood. You can see both sides uh, are even on the left and the right and across the top here. Um, everything lines up as it should. You see the, the tail light assemblies go on to the uh, uh, rear deck uh, molding. Everything lines up gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Tail light on the passenger side, same way. Of course, we got a dual exhaust system out the back. That goes without saying for a 396 Chevelle. Really nice. Paint's gorgeous. There's nothing that I can find so far that I could possibly say anything negative about. The trim around the back window, the same as the front. There's nothing. You can see I'm running my hands over it. There's no chips or marks or dings from anybody pounding it on. The glass is really, really nice. Rear seat speaker, hat shelf, hat rack, just as nice as could be. Looks 100% original. Uh, the car is just a really, really great example of 67 Super Sport um, Chevelle. The paint's just gorgeous on the car. It's midnight blue. You really probably can't see it from uh, the video, but the, the car just glistens in the sun. It has a lot of metallic to it, black interior, black vinyl top. It's a really good example of a great color combination for a 67 Chevelle. Okay, down the passenger side, same deal, SS Super Sport. Uh, the rear quarter panel, again, bumper alignment, uh, fitment is gorgeous. Uh, original quarter panels, just as nice as can be. I don't feel any dents at all or marks on the uh, fender lip molding, wheel well moldings. Quarter panel is really, really nice. Also, the, um, the trim around the uh, vinyl top is just as nice as you could ever find. I mean, it fits nice. There's no marks, no dings in it either. It, it, it adjoins the uh, rear window uh, molding and everything fits as though it should. Again, uh, I 
don't feel anything at all on this one either. You can't see anything, you can't feel anything because there's nothing there. Um, drip rail. The, um, well, we have to take this piece of trim here and pull it out. The uh, rubber is rolled under a little bit right where it meets the window or the uh, door and the base of the window on the rear here. There's a little bit, uh, we'll, we'll fix that. That's the only imperfection I've found so far. And that's just pulled the rubber up. <laughs> uh, quarter panel to the door. Excellent. Excellent fit finish. Again, the door handle itself is nice. Uh, front whiskers, wipes, really, really nice. Everything the way it should be. The uh, wing rubbers are soft, pliable. Same thing with this. Uh, window uh, molding in the top on both sides was good, nice and pliable and soft. Standard Chevy antenna. Front door onto the uh, front fender the same way. There's, there's just nothing really that you can say about the car in a negative fashion. There's just, I, I can't, if there is, I sure can't find it anywhere. I mean, I've been over it, I've put my hands on about every inch of this car and I can't find a, a deviation or an issue with it anywhere. Interior's outstanding condition. There's, there's nothing that you could possibly uh, say anything. The dash is nice and bright the way it should be with all the chrome accents and everything on it. <clears throat> Your chrome accents and, and bright wear around the uh, seats, the bucket seats themselves, and the console you can see is nice and bright and shiny and the alignment is there. Uh, your sill molds are just really nice and bright and shiny, nice GM designation on the uh, rear quarter panel as it would have been from the factory. Really a good looking car. Um, it's a real 138 code car. It is not a numbers matching car. If it was, it would be considerably more money than we're asking for this vehicle. The fit, the finish, everything concerning the 67 Chevelle SS is exemplary. You could not find a nicer one if you tried for this amount of money. Uh, it's a great car. We try to do the utmost as far as the presentation goes to show you any deviations from uh, the normal on a car or show you any imperfections. Uh, we want everyone to see what we're looking at. And, and if there is anything which no matter how minuscule it'll be, I'll point it out, just like that little rubber molding there. This car, I could not find anything. Again, we're going to do everything we can to present these vehicles to you in a fashion that you'll understand that the car is the highest quality that we could possibly find for you to buy. This is going to make someone a great, great addition to their collection, a nice car to drive. It's a fantastic running car. It's the same underneath, which you'll see in the video that we show, as it is on top. Fantastic car, and Hangsters has it for sale for you, and you can get it here in Daytona. All right, we're in Daytona, Florida, with our absolutely outstanding example of a 1967 Chevelle SS396 car. This car is absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Disc brakes in the front, because that's the way they came in 1967 with the SS package. Brand new shocks, brand new springs, uh, new fuel pump, New steering box with a new um, Pitman arm. No oil leaks whatsoever, as you can see on the bottom of the pan and the transmission and the uh, bell housing. It is a four speed car, M21 Muncie tranny with it. Two and a quarter inch stainless steel pipes coming off the uh, cast iron exhaust manifolds, which are the original equipment uh, uh, cast iron manifolds that came with the car. Uh, frame in the front is very nice. All your holes are nice and uh, thick yet, not bent up or anything for people jacking the car up through the years. Uh, just a real nice straight car, really nice car. Clutch linkage is all nice. It's not uh, bent or marked up or anything. It's, it's nice clutch linkage. Speedometer cable looks good. All the um, shift rods are nice. No bent ones or no marked up ones. Shifter itself is greased and, and, and looks in excellent condition. It's not rusted or deteriorated at all. Again, our uh, two and a quarter pipes going back toward the uh, rear. Three eighths inch fuel line on the passenger side, the way it should be for a big block car. Stainless steel brake line 
new heading toward the rear of the car from, from where we're standing right now. Parking brake assembly, all new, all new hardware and obviously functional. It's, it's all brand spank can do. Again, M21, no leaks, no drips, nothing on it as you can see. Floor pans look nice so far back. I don't really see anything that's uh, an issue. Um, someone through the years apparently jacked it up on the floor here and it, there was a dent there that looks like someone pounded out and then smeared something over but it, it, obviously no rust or deterioration there. The substructures are all nice, there's no scale, no rust or anything on them. That's the only imperfection I can see in the uh, floorboards. Just want you to know it is there. We're not trying to hide anything from you. It's there. Uh, it was, a, I would say, a jack mark through the years, and, and that's, that's what caused it. <clears throat> uh, halfway back through the car, other than that, that's the only, uh, uh, only thing I can find so far. Okay, going back, we're about halfway through this um, Chevelle, and uh, uh, again, two, two and a quarter pipes. Uh, going into two Flowmaster mufflers, both in excellent shape. You can see the, the paint's not even discolored on them yet. Frame is gorgeous going back through here, other than the one little mark that we found, that was it. There might be another one where they jacked it up here at some point of its life and, and popped it back down on the floorboard. It doesn't appear to be rusted or corroded, or it's not a, uh, uh, a perforation issue, not at all. Again, your substructures are all nice and clean and, and, and spot welded just the way they should be. Uh, even the one up across here, everything is just a, nice the way it should be. It's not, it's not a uh, rust issue car at all, not at all. Uh, going toward the back of the vehicle, uh, again, uh, two and a quarter pipes going out of the uh, uh, Flowmaster mufflers. Drum bake brakes in the uh, back, uh, discs in the front, of course, we went over that. New shocks, new springs in the front, new shocks, new springs in the rear also, so we got no sag whatsoever here on our vehicle. 12 bolt Chevy positive traction rear end that would be correct for a 138 code Super Sport Chevelle 1967. Uh, gas tank has been replaced, it's a brand spanking new gas tank. The original bands appear to be still on it and they don't have any rust or corrosion at all on them whatsoever. Drop downs and the fenders appear to be original in very, very nice condition. Pan across the back, same way, it's not bent or distorted at all. Um, new fuel line, new hoses, a filter in the rear here also, the same as the filter in the front. We've got two of them on here. They wanted to make sure that there was no. Uh, for material uh, going into the uh, fuel system. Frame sections in the back, uh, really nice and clean. Uh, no jack up marks or anything on them. They're very nice, clean uh, frame sections. Uh, I don't see anything underneath this car other than the couple very minute uh, dents that have been kind of skimmed over that were put on it at one point of its life just from someone inadvertently jacking the car up in the wrong spot. It didn't hurt it uh, uh, structurally. It's just a nice, strong, straight vehicle. You can see how clean it is underneath, uh, how well presented it is. No oil leaks, uh, no frame issues, no structural issues whatsoever. Uh, everything underneath this vehicle is uh, good to go. It would be something that somebody's going to be proud to own. It's, it's a nice, nicely, one, nicely done uh, 138 code, 67 Chevelle Super Sport car. Excellent car.